Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can 3D print your own custom ornament like the one here. We're going to be using a template that I've made on Tinkercad. It's going to make it super easy for you. So this is a great beginner 3D print project. It's perfect for the holidays. You can customize it with everyone's name. You can change, you could put the date on there. You could uh, change out the shapes. So I have the wreath there, but we have a few different options for Christmas theme shaped. So I'll take you through the process of using my Elegoo 3 Neptune Pro print Printer, but this works these instructions work for most printers so this is tinkercad so it's tinkercad.com and i'm going to leave the link for the ornament template in the comments so you'll just go to that link uh, to find the ornament template and then what you're going to do is you are going to create an account you can just use your google account and you're going to press copy and tinker here Copy and Tinker is going to allow you to uh, make a copy of this ornament template without messing with the original. So you'll see here that the ornament template comes up and you can see that you have the ornament and then you have a few different Christmas themed shape options on the side here. And so those will be what we can choose from in designing our ornament. So I'll brief, just briefly walk you through Tinkercad here, you see on the shapes on the sides, you can choose from shapes. And then you can click on this cube and that can adjust the perspective of how you're looking at your build plate. You can see the heights of the objects, which is important to see how much they're gonna stick out on the printer. You can make sure that your objects are lined up with the build plate. Um, so you, it's pretty intuitive, this program. You literally just drag and drop. So I'm gonna put the wreath. So I'm gonna drag and drop that wreath and then I can use that cube to make sure that it's sticking out appropriately on my ornament. It's sticking out above the rest of the ornament, but it's not sticking out too high. Um, and if you press the little triangle at the top, that's what lifts the wreath up or down. So if it's, you can lift it a little bit higher or you can put it lower, but again, you don't want it to be going through on the bottom of the build plate there. And so after I've uh, found the perfect positioning for the wreath, I'm gonna go over to the text option there and I'm gonna drag some text. And so I'll just click on the text and I'm going to adjust it to change the text. You can see that I adjust there and change it to my name. And then I'm also gonna adjust the font. I don't, I like the Sans font better. I think it's a cleaner look. And then what I'll do is I will press that middle button to adjust the height so that it's not sticking out too high off the build plate. So you can see that adjust the height. And then I wanna put it right underneath the wreath. So I'm gonna to have to, again, drag and drop on the corners to make it smaller so that it will fit appropriately in my wreath, or next to my wreath. So you can see here that I've got it lined up nicely. And I can, again, click on that cube to just check the positioning and see whether I'm happy with it. And I'm happy with how that looks. I'll just make a few little quick adjustments and it all is looking really good. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you is that you can, oh, my wreath is accidentally somehow lifted up. I don't know how that happened, so I'm gonna bring down, bring it down again with clicking on that triangle option. Not sure how that happened, but again, that's why you do look with the cube, because it looked, it looked good from a, up top, but from the sides now you can see that it's in the per perfect position. Um, I did want to show you as well that you can actually um, make the shape into a hole instead of a solid. So you can click there and that will actually um, make that a hole. And then what you can do is you can highlight all of the objects on the ornament and you can group them together. And then when you group them together, you'll see that it actually transforms it into that hole. So if you wanted, you can print it with the shape being a hole rather than a solid figure. But I don't want that. I'm going to go with the solid figure. So I'm going to click the undo button there. So I'm really happy with how it turns out. And what I'm going to do is I'm now going to export this object. So I'm just going to highlight the object that I want and press the export button there. And then I'm going to do an STL file. And so I'll do the STL file there, and then I'm going to send that over to my slicing software. So this is Elegoo Cura. This is the slicing software for the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. If you're using a different printer, you might be using different um, slicing software, although Cura is a popular slicing software that works for most 3D printers. 
So I'm just going to open up that ornament template that I saved, and it's just gonna automatically put it right onto my virtual build plate there. You can see at the bottom, you can check to make sure again that it looks good and that it is placed appropriately on the build plate. You can do things on the side buttons there, like scale it, move it, that sort of thing, but I don't need to do that because it's already looking great. So I'm just gonna press slice and I'll go through and slice this so that it can give instructions to my printer. Then I've got my printer plugged in via USB, so I'm just going to click on that button uh, to the side there, and you're going to see print via USB. You could also save it to a floppy drive and then put that onto your printer. And so it's sending it right to my Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro now. Of course, it's important to make sure your printer is ready for the print, so I do have my filament loaded. I decided to go for a nice Christmas red filament, and I've got my build plate ready. If you see some residue on the build plate, that is a little bit of glue stick, which I find helps with adhesion. So here we go. Here's a little bit of the print. Um, it did print with a brim, which is that little edging on the side. So here we go. I'll pull it off. The brim uh, almost essentially comes off with it, and so you just peel that off. Probably didn't need to use a brim here, but uh, that's what the Elegoo um, settings were. And so you can just peel off the extra brim around the side. So here's how it turned out. Uh, I think it turned out great. I think it looks really good. There's just a few little, like a little stringy piece there. So I'm just gonna take my tweezers and clean that up. Sometimes you do have a few minor errors and again, you can just clean that up with tweezers. Um, I think it looks great overall. Again, this is a super simple, easy um, tutorial. You could change out the name, you can change out, you can add in a date if you wanted. I'm going to add my decorative Christmas uh, string to it so that I can hang it nicely on the tree. But it's super easy. Make one for everyone in the family. You can make them in different colors. Um, lots of ways to customize this to your own. Here's how it looks on the tree. I'm super happy with this overall and I hope you enjoy making this project at home.